Okay. Oh, wow, it is too warm. I can't tell what, what the weather... I mean, I've literally got the internet on my phone with the ability to get all the weather information up, but still still struggle to tell what the weather is like. Um, but yeah, morning, everyone. Uh, so heading in now. Uh, we have an earlier session on a Sunday than I normally would go for, but uh, it's arms today. And yeah, that's basically it. Like it's arms. So was meant to be meeting one of the boys uh, down the gym because he had a heavy squat session and he wanted someone uh, to spot him who's a bit more experienced than the average gym goer in that respect. Which you know, from years of powerlifting and training with people who do heavy squatting on a regular basis, like you do, kind of get a feel for the right way to spot people because there is a right and a wrong way of doing it um the last thing you want to do is ruin the lifters attempt but at the same time as well you want to make sure they're safe um and you know, also key thing there is making sure they're safe so making sure that the lifter is not in a position where they're gonna you know be in any health risk uh but uh unfortunately uh my friends had a change of plan, which is fine. That's cool. Uh, I said, I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. No, it is. It's cool. Um, I am up. I've had my breakfast. I'm going to go in. We're going to do arms. I'm going to do cardio because this morning I woke up, took my vitamins that I'd normally take in the morning before I do my cardio. And I fell back to sleep. And I can't remember. Actually, yeah. What I was going to do was... I was going to still go and do cardio, and then I realized that the timing that it would be, so I'd get to the gym, do my steps on the stairs, come home, then eat, then go, um, I wouldn't make it in time to meet uh, my friend. Um, in hindsight, like that would have been okay. However, um, you know, we move. So plan is to hit a set of tries and a set of buys. Uh, repeat that till eight sets are complete. And then we go on the stair mill uh, at the gym. I might up the stairs normally, like my post-session cardio when I've been able to do it has been 20 minutes. Um, but I'm gonna up it to 30 just because I've not been able to go this morning. So that's that's basically what it's gonna be is that. Um, got my electrolytes. Oh, Does they like, they make the drink fizzy to a certain extent. And they just seem to creep up the straw in the cup. The other stuff that I use, so I used to use Dioralite, uh, which I've talked about before. That was still, and it kept stayed still in the drink, didn't fizz. Whereas these are like effervescent tablets, so they, when they dissolve, they do create like a bit of a fizz to it. Um, so if you do use like um, hydration tablets in any form just make sure that the top of the bottle when you first put it in isn't sealed because it will just gas up um reminds me of when i met a friend in swansea and we were going to go train at a gym there this was years ago when i first got into bodybuilding like i'm talking gosh yeah i was like 21 at the time um we were going to the gym and I met him in Swansea Station and I put some NO Explode uh, into my shaker. And normally it says don't don't shake because it will fizz. I thought, ah, it's going to be fine. That'll be, that'll be a problem. So I put two scoops of that in, put some water in, mix it up, and then pop, lid comes off. Or, or, like the, the top of the shaker bottle comes off and then just fizzes up everywhere. Hilarious. Messy, but, you know, you learn your lesson with that. Um... But yeah, I've got the uh, the Naughty Boy uh, cotton candy margarita. I always forget it, uh, but it's so nice. And it does what I need to do. It's really, really nice. Uh, so I might be investing in more of that for these like arm sessions where I don't need to have as much as what I have in my other pre-workouts. Um, I would look at getting some hostile stuff for, you know, the obvious reasons, but... I can't find a cheap or an affordable, I should say, uh, importer of that in this country. Um, but 
Oh, there we go. There. I'll tell you what, aircon was the best invention they ever put into cars. I mean, aside from you know, seat belts and airbags, but yeah, aircon. Whoever whoever invented you, and then whoever decided to put you in the car, love you. I uh, you you are heroes. Uh, so yeah, the plan after cardio is to get a quick shower, head home, smash. Uh, I think I'm going to have my chicken rice uh, veg meal, you know, the classic bodybuilder meal there. And then go to Aldi. I've run out of a few things. Um, my milk goes off tomorrow, so I don't want to be in a situation where I go to open that and it stinks. So I need to grab some milk. I need to grab some bananas, some spinach, a few other bits and bobs as well. Um, I've dried fruit as well. And I'm going to go stop by um, like a bigger supermarket because they sell more of it. But I want to get some more of my dried fruit. Basically, I want to get my stuff ready for my tattoo on Wednesday, I want to say. 25th, whenever that is. Um, 22nd today. So, yeah. Monday, 23rd, 24th, 20th. Yeah, Wednesday. Because i got a gig on Thursday. Yeah. Sorry. It's early-ish. It's not early. I'm just... Anyway. Um, but, yeah. that's That's the plan. So we'll go and do that. And then I want to... Is this still on? It is. After, after the first time using this, where it turned off. I don't trust it anymore. Um, I want to... Like, just tidy the flat up. Um, just get things a bit more spick and span around there. So that it's conducive to a more productive environment. Look at that. Oof. Straight out of a... Better Homes uh, catalog. But yeah, I just want to make sure that everything is like nice and tidy. Because um, it helps me feel more productive that way as well. Uh, I also, so this is a bit of a tangent, but on being neat and tidy. Just on Instagram last night, scrolling through. And you know when you're going through the stories and it comes up with like suggested ads for you. I don't know how it, well, I kind of have an idea of how it got this suggestion. But I'm thankful that it did. So it popped up with this thing called Airback. I was like, what the hell is this? And I, initially, I skipped over it. And then, you know when you catch it the last second, just as it skips, it does something cool. I, I went back. And uh, it's like a backpack that has, like, vacuum sealed bag inside it. And I was like, that is that's incredible. Like, I haven't got to individually vacuum seal stuff. I just have a vacuum seal compartment in the bag. Um, oh, there's a dog in the back of the car in front of me. Hello. Oh, you are well behaved. Dogs. We don't deserve dogs. They are too good. And there's another one over there with a little jacket on. Oh. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, it had this little vacuum pack thing in it. And it came with this little, like, pump that you could use with it as well. And it's the first thing I've ever backed on Kickstarter. But I paid, well, I pledged the tier to get, like, the whole kit. And it's like 174 quid. Which when you factor in all the things that you get in it, it's not too bad actually. Because you get the bag, the uh, the mini pump with it, you get a wash bag that goes in it as well. The other thing that comes with as well is a handle which has got a weight, like a weighing scale thing in it. So like you can weigh how heavy your bag is for picking it up. And the dimensions all fit in the like carry-on uh, luggage for most uh major airlines well actually all major airlines i believe it was so i was i was well impressed with that because i figured next year i do plan on doing a bit more traveling i do plan on doing, going away a bit more and at the moment i use my built for athletes bag which is great i love my built for athletes bag um i've got two because their customer support again is fantastic if you if you've never this isn't an ad like by all means like look at the views no one's sponsoring this video um but built for athletes bags I had an issue with one of them. I got in touch with their customer support and literally the next morning, very much, I got in touch with the customer support at 5 p.m. The next morning, I had a replacement bag sitting and waiting there. They didn't ask for the original one back. They just let me have it and keep it. So yeah, like great, great customer service. Uh, great bags, customizable as well. However, this vacuum thing in this one made it feels so cool so if i'm planning on going away on trips where i'm not going to the gym because you know there'll probably weekends away like i went like i went to copenhagen 
didn't train when I was out in Copenhagen. So if I can do trips like that, this bag's gonna be brilliant for it. Uh, just in, I mean, in general, like you can take your gym kit with it because it's got like the older proof seals and stuff in it. So yeah, really cool bag. Uh, hopefully, well, it's been for, the whole thing's been funded. So the bag should be here by March next year. So I'm cool with that. Gonna go for the nice black one, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's got a laptop compartment. I also bought a new laptop case as well, because I need that. Because the one I'm using at the moment is not padded that much. This one is a bit more padded. So yeah, looking forward to that. Enjoyed that tangent. I hope you enjoyed that rant <laughs> or that rambling there. I'm I'm going to shut up. I'm going to uh, get into the gym and I will see you for the last set of the first movement, whatever that is. So, as with the rope extensions, I kind of distance myself a little bit further back on uh, the V grip, just to allow me to get my like a fuller range of motion on it. Because when you're tall, you got slightly longer than average limbs. I mean, for my height, they're not, but you know what I mean. Getting the full extension is easy, but getting the full like. I guess lengthening in of the muscle is harder. I, my brain's fried, but getting back up to the top is a shorter rom. It's a shorter rom when you're taller, uh, unless you get this yourself. So that's what I've done with this. I'm just trying to not like swing the weight down after the first rep. Ah, oh, definitely harder. Oh, I can feel me starting to uh, totally lose form on that then. But... Oh, that was good. All right. It's cambered bar next. Yeah, then... There we go. So, cambered. Trying to keep the elbows like more in front I can. I really should have brought my arm blaster. I think after the next tattoo break, it's, that's going to become a staple of arm base. Ah. 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 Oh. 
Oh, fuck. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Nothing left to say. Oh, so one of the boys just turned up, so it's a bit of catch up with them, but respectfully, they didn't let me go cold. So now, i been one heavy set with this, and I've dropped it down from 45 to 35. So I'm trying to squeeze out whatever's left for this movement, and then we'll move on to the last movement for each body part. Oh, wouldn't mind a few more with that, but so it's partial to throw at the end. So, oh, I do love the mirror back there, does feel good. Uh, one more for each body part, and then we're done. Actually, I have to do some forearms at the end as well. Oh. Oh. So, when I uh, finish with the curls, the cable sat was busy, so. I want to try something different, so I figure it's like a Smith version of like a skull fracture slash JM press. Uh, a different feeling, but due to the fact that my tries are really pre exhausted, there's very minimal pec involvement with it. So, yeah, feels good. Apart from when I crack my head on the machine, that was some fun. <laughs> Oh, a bit awkward, but oh, definitely did my choice. Had a good one there. One movement for five left, and we do a couple of sets before I'm just a round two shot. All right, so the last movement, a bit different because I hit, uh, I hit some double. 
thumbnail girls yesterday. So single arm cable facing away. Just to finish everything off there. I'm not gonna film the four arm girls. But we'll worry about that after this. Oh. But yeah, that is Rise and Tries done. Uh, a good time as well. So do some reverse curls for forearms and then after it. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> All right, so arms done, cardio done. But that took a little bit longer than I thought it would. So instead of going home and then eating, and going to the shops. I'm just gonna go to, well, there's a Tesco on the way back now, so I'll grab some stuff in there. Uh, and then I will head to Aldi when I, well, I get closer to home. Actually, I might just drive straight back to home, grab some bags and then head straight back out. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the move. That is what we'll do because I don't wanna waste time essentially but let's talk about arm session it was really good really really good uh, i found that moving myself a little bit further away from the rack or the stack sorry uh allowed my arms because my limb length to fully extend so i found that if i stand and i'm too close to the rack or i'm too upright yeah i can extend all the way down but when i come back up the rom isn't like as full as it could be so by taking a step away and angling my body a bit it, it allows that to happen that's an unfortunate place for you to break down my good sir uh so yeah that was that was a really good um adaptation there for it everything felt great i was really really happy with that the Skull Crusher JM Press like contraption that I worked up on the Smith, like it felt different. I hadn't done anything like that for a very long time. But at the end of the workout, it was a really nice finisher. Don't know if I'll incorporate it too much, but you know, everything was busy, so we had to improvise. But yeah, that was uh that was the session. So now the plan is sip on this way shake um, and get some food in me do some chores and just relax really for the rest of the day it was nice to bump into an old friend in the gym uh, explains why I was a little bit longer there than normal because we were just catching up and chatting crap and it was good but now I've got to go and do real life stuff which is less fun but it has to be done i just hope i have enough time to do it. I, I will have enough time it's just i hate i hate shopping when it's closing time in there because it's just it feels like you're being rushed but you know you are they want to get home you want to get home so yeah but i'm gonna do that also one thing i need to try and pick up is like a nasal spray which sounds gross i know but it's because um i feel like i've got one of my nostrils is just blocked um, so I use nasal strips when I go to bed now, and it helps so much. Um, I've got still got like the tail end of this like cold thing, so uh, it's definitely definitely have an impact on my breathing to a certain extent. But I think if I can get some decongestion spray, because that'll help a lot. 
then see if I can get like a more permanent solution going forward. I don't want to say that I think one of my um, nostrils is like collapsed or anything like that. It's just when you put a nasal strip on, it changes how you breathe completely. <laughs> like it opens your eyes to a whole new world of uh, breathing. But yeah, that's that. I am I'm knackered, but in a good way. Like that cardio at the end, the half hour on the stairs. Which I know, like doing your cardio after your session can sometimes be frowned upon because um, it's just more and more exertion in one place. However, because I wasn't able to get in this morning, I'm more than happy to do it afterwards. I put the extra 10 minutes on that I normally would do 20, but I put half hour in because I couldn't do the 20 this morning. So I just want to make up for the effort that I didn't get in. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason why. I'm not sure how accurate the calorie burn is when you do that. But my watch has been tracking my calories now for, gosh, the health data goes back to for years. So I'm not saying it's 100% accurate, but it's a lot more accurate than just going off what is on the uh, machine itself. However, just find something that is a consistent track for you. So let's say you only have the uh, calories burn on the machine, okay? You're not using your heart rate for it. You plug in all your details and your metrics. But you're not using the, the heart rate checker on it because sometimes the handles are just really awkward positions. And you don't want to have them there. Like if on the stairs, for example, if I'm holding on to the, where the, the heart rate handles are, it's not comfortable. I'd rather have my hands, if I'm going to hold on to anything on the outside or on my phone, uh, I don't want to be holding like up like that. It just feels weird. So yeah, don't, don't worry if you can't get your hands on the heart rate. But if you can plug everything else in and get the most accurate thing that that machine can give for a calorie burn and you can keep that consistent i'm not saying that if that says you've burned 350 you've definitely burned 350 you've probably been less than that uh just because i'm assuming you've done some cardio in the past and it's not going to be a shock to your system like it would be for uh, a complete beginner however complete beginners it may be a bit under what you might have actually burned but it's just worth having something which is like a consistent uh measure for you so if you're saying that you always want to burn 350 calories on a machine, then yeah, like it may not be accurate, but it's going to be as close as you can get to it without getting, you know, fitness trackers involved. But if calorie burn is what you're after, I would definitely invest in some form of health tracker. Uh, there's a lot out there that do it. But it's just something that's more consistent and knows you. But it's not essential for bodybuilding. Um, by all means, it's just something. This is nice. For you. If you like me and you like to know your metrics, I love, I love knowing different metrics. I need to get more on it with certain things. Like in the morning, I used to take my blood pressure, uh, my peak flow, uh, which is like your lung capacity type of thing, um, and then I used to always do my blood sugars as well, because my dad uh, was diabetic. So I want to make sure that I know it's not always, I don't think it can be hereditary. I could, I could be wrong there, but I just want to make sure that I'm not at a stage with that. So yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, I am, I'm hungry, but I know I got stuff to do. So I got to get home and this traffic is not moving at the speed I would like it to move to allow me to achieve the goal, which I want. But that's life. Sometimes things don't work out the way that you plan them to and you just got to move on. Just like today's session, just like yesterday's session. You can't always do what you want to do and you just got to change your mindset and adapt to it. I think that it's just one of those things with training that it puts you in a perspective of, cool, there will be times which are rough. There will be times which are tough and you just got to, you know, push through it, really. This isn't going to become some fucking like motivational channel speech or anything like that. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, that's that's that. So the plan for tonight is to chill, do some cold duty with the boys, do some housework, and then get ready for tomorrow. You can check my schedule, see what time I have to be up tomorrow. But if everything's as normal, it'll be card in the morning, some breakfast, then legs. Doing good for legs tomorrow. Kinda kinda wanna push it. Uh push it, you know, more so than I have been recently with them. Get out of doing just leg extensions and leg curls, which there's no problem with that. I love that. 
but I really get some pressing back in there with some description. So we'll, we'll figure that out tomorrow. But as always, if you're lifting today, I hope it's a good one. Hope you set some PBs. And if not, I hope you just look juicy. If you're not lifting today, rest up, eat up, chill out, de-stress, get your one gram of protein per pound of body weight, take your multi and lift heavy, and I'll see you tomorrow.